Welcome back, Mr. J family. It is me, Mr. J, with the Mr. J show. What is all over my dang thing? Um, <clears throat> sorry. Welcome back, Mr. J family. It is me, Mr. J, with the Mr. J show. And today, my friends, we are checking out Pentatonics Live in Studio Feliz Navidad from my good friend, PWN. So thank you, PWN for this and yes I have permission when me and PWN started when PWN and I sorry started uh, becoming acquainted uh, I asked her before reacting to I don't know what it was it was a while ago because we've been acquaintances now for a little bit uh, she told me that I have free reign on any of her videos. I can react to whatever I want. But at least I gave her the professional courtesy to ask first. You know, c based mostly on respect for another content creator. Uh, PWN has like 20,000 subscribers, so... You know, you always got to respect the people that came before you, the people who have been on, like, the same grind that you are. Um, give them, a, you know, professional courtesy, I guess. And so, so I, I, so, but she did tell me that I had free reign on her videos. I can react to um, whatever I <clears throat> see fit, which is awesome. So thank you again, PWN. But anyways, if you like what you see, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment, because without you, I would not have a show. We're getting close to 2,100 subs, which is still crazy, but, and we finally got past the 500 video mark, so that's pretty cool. It's either cool or it proves that I have no life, not really sure. Uh, but I like spending time with you all, you know, and yeah, here's to another 500 more videos, I guess. I don't know what to say. I know people like to like put in their like descriptions, like road to 3000 subscribers, but I don't know. I don't really look at the sub count often. I mean, I do. I see it often. I just don't ever, like... I don't pay attention to it as much as I did before I hit 500 subs. And then after 1,000 subs, I just kind of, like... It's just there. Um, steadily going up. But I guess I'll be, like, cliche and say... Road to 3,000 subs starts... Anyways, if you like what you see, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment, because without you, I would not have a show. And thank you all so much for all the nice words. Uh, I appreciate you all. But anyways, oh, if, yeah, you guys know about the Patreon. It's in the description. I'm not going to go on that big spiel. But anyways, my friends, my Mr. J family, and everyone all over the world, let's get it. Hiya. <laughs> Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero año y felicidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero año y felicidad Feliz Navidad 
pretty cool. Um, yeah, they they had a, a longer one on the what's it called, the Christmas extravaganza in um, Kentucky. But this was really good. I mean, I'm a little biased, you know, because of my Mexican roots. So, like, I, ha- you know, I heard this, like, so much. I-, I mean, and it's, it's, it's popular, you know, in America, obviously. But, like, uh, yeah, I grew up listening to this, you know. And so it's pretty good. And it's, you know, and, and like I always say, it's, it's, it's really cool. To, it's really fun and it's really cool and very exciting to, um, and I don't know why, but every time like Kirsty has a, like, she's up front, like, it's just, I don't know. Cause it's, it's not, it's not like I have like a crush on her or anything, but like, um, when she's up front, she just, she shines. I don't know how to explain it. She, um, you know, and even, even when she was younger, even in baby tonics, you know, when she's singing and she's in her zone, she just gets this big cheesy smile across her face and, and just slays it, you know, and, uh, yeah you know i think i think i love each of them for totally different reasons but i love every single one of them um you know and i think it's their little quirks here and there that really make up who they are as a person and who they are as singers and as entertainers because There are certain things that each member does where it's just like, wow, you know, whether it's Matt or Avi and, you know, doing, blowing out speakers or, you know, Mitch with the Mitch slap or, you know, Scott with that soulful, soulful voice. Remember when I watched Sing for the first time and I was like, um, and, you know, Baby K just cheesing and smiling and just having a good time singing everybody just has their own quality to them that you can't help but like love them i mean if you're if you're into them the way i am you know what i mean where i'm making you know a show that's based around music and i it just happens to have a lot of (laughs) pentatonics in it you know but like, yeah, they're, they're, everybody has this own, like, special quality that, you know, I think everyone can relate to. And that's what makes even something as simple as this, you know, Feliz Navidad. Um, it hits me in a place where I can relate because it's something I heard, you know, um, because my, um, my grandparents spoke English um, and Spanish, but some, but, okay, but some of my aunts and my great-grandparents, but this was when I was little, they spoke only Spanish, and so, um, you know, when, when we would have family get-togethers, uh, little Mr. J would, you know, have to pick up Spanish as a young kid and adult uh, to even know like what my great grandmother was 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 saying to me. Do you know what I mean? Um, because the first time I ever talked to my uh, grandma Martha, um, I I knew no Spanish, and she was like trying to sp- well one she was super super old right, um, and um. But she didn't speak English. And so every time, you know, uh, my grandma would have to 
basically translate and then it turned into like you know hanging out with my cousins and things like that um where i started learning spanish and things like that but uh nowadays i don't speak spanish on a daily basis and so uh, i was talking to one of my cousins the other day on the phone for my birthday and I don't know why he tells me this every time, but he's like, "You're lazy. Your your Spanish is getting kind of lazy, homeboy." And I'm like, "Thanks." At least he didn't say it was awful. He just said it was lazy. He says I'm losing like that accent. Like I'm he uh, he he says that it, yeah I I speak lazy Spanish. Uh, which is true. I, I don't take a lot of time to um, put accents on things, you know. Um, but I know enough to, you know, get to, 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 to you know, converse. And he, he said he'll be worried when I can't understand what he's saying. He says, then you're going to, then, then, then you have to go to two classes he's like you know but i do practice my spanish on like duolingo just so i don't lose it completely you know um but i mean there's only so much you can do on an app do you know what i mean uh but yeah i think i think that's a good place to stop because you know like I, uh, my point that i was getting to is you know something as simple as feliz navidad it, it resonates with me because of my culture other songs might resonate with other people depending on where what what the song is and where what they've been through and things like that and i think the relatableness that they have to the listener is really what keeps the listener coming back and wanting more pentatonics but anyways that's just my opinion but anyways if you like what you see leave a like leave a sub leave a comment because without you i would not have a show um, and if you want to help support the channel, check out the link in the description to the Mr. J Show Patreon. But, my friends, my Mr. J family, until next time, this has been Mr. J with the Mr. J Show. Have a great day. Okay, bye.